Hi, I think there was just a bit of network there. Hi, this is Marisha, CEO at the Wedding School. Friday evening and here I am, extremely delighted to be chit-chatting uh, with my loved ones and with people whom I tend to interact with only on Instagram and Facebook. So I want to firstly say a big hello to everyone who's joined me live right here at the Wedding School uh, on Insta and through Facebook. And I'm happy today because I'm particularly quite excited with the topic that I have chosen. And uh, the topic for today is the F word. Um, don't get me wrong, I am uh, an educator. So I'm not talking about any other F word, but in fact, not one, but three F words. And I really believe that it is this that truly uh, makes me the kind of person I am. I truly believe that there are certain traits which take somebody uh, a longer way. And if you can try to imbibe that in you, then definitely it's going to help you in the long run. Uh, these are traits that you can't just develop overnight. Uh, they're either in you, that's just the way you are, that's your personality, or you can try to consciously cultivate that into you and imbibe that trait and make it a part of you. So um, before I get started talking about it, I just want to say um, hello to everyone here on Facebook as well. And I'm waving out to everyone who's joined me right here on uh, Instagram as well. Okay, great. Nice to see all of you. And as usual, I'm waving back at you. I'm not able to take everyone's names, but I'm of course, um, really delighted to have a lot of my friends with whom I work with in, in the wedding space, uh, joining me over here. Uh, a lot of my freelancer friends, and I hope you all are doing good and, and keeping yourself busy. I know that most of you have uh, looked out for alternate uh, career options. Uh, some of you maybe permanently, some of you have just done it for the time being, understanding that it's probably going to take you a little more time before things really pick up. So I'm um, glad that you all are here with me. And now I come to the F word. So I really believe genuinely that um, there are three particular traits that really can help you in, in developing yourself and getting noticed and just ensuring the longevity of your career. Um, the first F word is finesse. I truly believe a um, lot of styling in the way you speak, in the way you present yourself, the way you dress up, uh, the not just the styling, but the level of polish uh, that you need to do to yourself. Now, this part, nobody is really born with, you know. You're not just born with a hat on your head, right? So you have to work on it. And if that's not you and you think it's very cool not to be like that, let me tell you, no matter how cool and casual we become, uh, by default, that's just the way we humans are. Whatever appeals to the eye definitely influences the mind, even today. So it's great that you may be very casual about it, but I want you to understand that that's just not enough for the kind of profession we are in, whether it's uh, wedding industry in particular, or whether it is um, the event industry at large. So I truly believe that the first F word that comes handy to you is uh, finesse. In fact, you could keep writing into me as to which other F word you think uh, really makes you stand out in the work that you are doing and the kind of person that you are and which is the F word that you feel we all could be focusing on. So let those comments keep coming on Facebook and Insta. Uh, whilst I move on to my second F word, uh, the next F word that I really believe has helped me get where I am is firm. Mm. Somewhere I believe that it's important that you are um, easy as a person, you're able to adapt to yourself. You know, all these aspects are really great, but I believe that for you to be able to direct a show, for you to be able to win the confidence of a client who's spending lakhs and crores on just one idea that you believe in, you've got to be firm. Your conviction level, I truly believe, 
can help influence uh, the client for their benefit and uh, the firmness will come with two aspects uh, one is your experience second is your communication skills um, because it is only with experience that you get more convinced you can get more confident about certain ideas that you throw in about being able to execute the idea that you're throwing in. So all of that can only happen through experience, but the firmness can also largely come in just because of the way you speak. Um, it's not just about having conviction here. It's about having conviction in the voice, which can only come when it's your heart and mind that's into it. And you have developed your skills to be able to put your point across um, that nobody is going to want to say a no to you. So I truly believe uh, that that's a very important trait. I, I feel that, you know, being firm can actually always work in favor of a client. And I'm genuinely talking about um, every expert or, or anyone who's aspiring to become a part of the wedding industry. Uh, if you are always oriented towards thinking of what is going to help the client, what is going to help the event, which is eventually going to benefit the client. And it's not about my gains. It's really about making sure that they are happy with what is the final outcome. You have to stick to your guns. Even if that means you are not ready to budge on certain pricing, certain vendors that you want to work with, certain people you want to partner with, you have to be firm because the minute you drop that, you are not being fair to the client. You might just get the business because you quoted less, because you came under the client pressure, but hell, that is not a good idea because in the long run, you will not benefit from it. So stick to your gut and be firm because that is indeed the right way to go about it provide it you're looking at a career that is long lasting uh, for me longevity is absolutely important i'm not just here for glory of a day and and packing off and going somewhere tomorrow i want to create a legacy and if i have to do that not just me i have to instill this as a value uh, in the organization I have to instill this and insist on this with my vendors and that is how eventually clients grow more fond of you and they actually start believing that even if you are charging an XYZ price for something, they know that that's being invested for their betterment. Um, Nitin has uh, said hello on Facebook. So hi Nitin, hope you're doing good and I hope uh, the virtual events are, are keeping you busy and I'm sure Nitin you must be also having an F word that uh, may have worked for you and may have helped you get where you are. So feel free to share that and I'd love to read it. In the meantime, waving out to everyone who's joined me here on um, Instagram as well. Um, nice to see all of you here. Uh, just there's just a lot of you so I'm, I'm not going to be taking names so sorry but uh, thanks guys for joining in and let those comments keep coming in as to what is that magical F word that works for you so yes finesse being firm and of course the third F word that I really believe has worked for me is fierce um, I think it's okay to be a little aggressive uh, it's okay to be a little adamant. Uh, it's, it's, I think, really beneficial uh, for the project. I don't know about anything else, but I truly believe that being a fierce player really helps you put your gut and your strength and your pace together. That, for me, is being fierce. And um, that comes from, uh, uh, again, a space of understanding that you're not just doing this for one-off uh, events. You're doing this for the larger game. And if you have to do it, you just got to be fierce. That's just got to be you. Now, fierce is a typical trait, which could be a part of you, uh, which is you're just born in, in that space. And that's just you probably God gifted in your genes, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it's going to take you a while to kind of cultivate that if that's just not you. Uh, but that, I believe, is the only trait which is somewhere first inbuilt. And then, of course, it, it moves on to kind of uh, helping you uh, shape up and develop. So look out for that. 
find out if you are that fierce personality if you are great now channelize it in the right direction and if not don't sulk because again i truly believe this is a trait that you can genuinely work towards and you can cultivate it in you it's going to take time it's not an overnight journey and you're not just going to suddenly wake up one day look into the mirror and say yeah i'm a fierce personality and i'm just going to do it this way no it takes time you just have to build your personality and persona and yourself from within to be that person nitin is writing what if clients not ready to pay what you ask as for them you keep too much buffer in i know nitin i am telling you i think i think that is a very common thing that we face so uh where we actually quote uh, a certain price i don't want to term it as quote more because hell who knows what is the real price of that element especially when it comes to technology especially when it comes to creativity and especially when it comes to merging the two which is really what um i i am trying to focus on uh of late it is very very tricky to put a price to it it is absolutely challenging nitin and i know you know this probably even more than me uh as to why uh clients don't really believe you when you are saying that this is required more than what you're getting a quote in the market because this is going to be different in terms of the quality in terms of assurance of uh, uh of things working and happening on time and as per a plan um there was a time uh, nitin when i genuinely i'm telling you from uh, the weddings that uh, i've been planning there was a time when i genuinely would get into a detailed discussion and try to educate my client in trying to explain him why somebody may have done something at an x less price and i'm asking for an x plus price after a point in time in your career you become uh, more sure and you leave it to the sensibilities of the client where you just inform him about something but i have stopped pushing clients to understand um the difference because i truly believe that it's now more in my conviction and i feel that it comes across in the way i put a point across and i am genuinely firm over the last few years and i have more uh, faith that uh, the kind of work that we are doing is something that's different and that truly makes me become the person that i am which is stay firm to something and just hang in there if not a b will come so but if you want to rush and get a to z in your kitty then you have to compromise somewhere and that's just not me uh so nitin i think it's just about wait and watch game a good client will come back or at least i have also had instances when a client may not have been convinced or may have still opted for someone who is cheaper or something that is cheaper um has always come back telling me you were right uh and uh, therefore even if i may not have done a wedding in a certain family they actually end up recommending me to someone else purely because they understood my point me be a little later so f for finance nitin sab kuch paise se lagao <laughs> but the world runs on money i know it just does not run on good ideas and that is something that even in fact human keeps telling me <laughs> but i i i really believe yeah i mean if there was no financial uh involvement i don't know how motivated everyone would be yes finance is important and uh so finance f f is that word finance for nitin uh guys let me know what is your f word deepak is saying fearless uh that's an interesting um term to use uh, deepak yes i do believe it's a good trait to have um uh, being fearless for me um comes really from the way you have lived your childhood i truly genuinely believe that uh being firm which is being you know convinced about what you're doing being fearless as a person these all are traits that get shaped up largely when we are probably in school um because that is the way our parents treated us our siblings treated us there was a certain way in which our friends and enemies or or the bullies in school treated us all of this ends up shaping up uh, the personality that we become by the time we are in college it kind of just 
you either sail through in the same boat or you decide to rebel and you want people to know I'm not the same person and you know like go to hell I'm going to show you who I am so fearless for me is also I would agree with you Deepak it is a very very important F word that needs to be in one's life it also helps you pick up on a challenge when you don't know if it's the right thing or the right way to do something uh, but it also definitely helps you at least gain more confidence at the end of that journey of having been fearless and done something. And I really believe that that can eventually lead you to becoming a more confident person. As long as you are able to stand and take onus uh, for what you're doing and, and you're able to safeguard the interest of your client. Uh, Asif is writing, I'm a wedding photographer. Hi, Asif. I hope you were able to join us for our uh, masterclass today. We had a very interesting masterclass uh, with Anand Rati for our uh, wedding filmmaking and photography course. And um, I think besides counseling uh, the students, in fact, um, apologies if, if uh, some of you were not able to join us. Uh, I don't know how, but we had probably anticipated um, a certain number of attendees and therefore i don't know why the meeting we had set was for 100 and uh, we eventually ended up having over 300 attendees who uh, tried to log in but only 100 could but nonetheless uh, sorry about that <laughs> but i'm so happy to see the response that uh, instead of next friday we've decided to do one more midweek uh, which is going to be next tuesday and uh, that's again going to be a masterclass with Anand Rati. So uh, for those of you who have been inquiring with us for our wedding filmmaking and photography course, uh, please do join us on Tuesday morning at 11.30. Uh, the details are available on the Wedding School uh, Insta page. Uh, the link is there in the bio. Plus you can get in touch and just DM us. Our, our team will definitely get in touch with you. And today's masterclass was really cool because Anand really showed, uh, you know, a lot of things that uh, have aspects that have actually helped him and, and things that he kind of keeps in mind when he's planning a shot. So um, largely focusing a lot on uh, pre-wedding shoots. And I, I know that everyone who attended it kind of got very curious and eager and wanted to learn more. So we've asked everyone to actually enroll for the main class because uh, that's going to be extensive. It's going to be in-depth training as far as uh, developing your futuristic approach, as far as improving your relations with your vendors and clients is concerned, as far as growing your business in the field of wedding photography is concerned. So that is a cool one. Asif, if you've not yet joined us, you must, must, must do it. Um, I do see that a lot of you who were there with us, in fact, in the morning, uh, are here with us as well. So thank you. Thank you for joining in. Uh, hello, hello, hello to everyone, um, Aditya and uh, Banti and uh, everyone else who is joining us over here. Um, so, yeah, in fact, um, talking about fearless, I, I, I really am going back to um, my, my school days and I was not probably this outspoken and this confident a person and uh, I think that primarily came from the fact that I was a very average student and in school somehow back then at least you were always judged for the marks you got and uh, my parents were very cool they always told me that marks don't help you make your life so just pass <laughs> that was their fear I know as an educator it doesn't sound right but the studies back then were not as practical and and uh, you know relevant uh, you studied things that were had no consequence eventually and no impact on your life. You studied it just because that book was made and nobody had the time to change the syllabus. So today I do believe uh, that, that the education system has got far, far better. And uh, the kind of uh, new education system that our Prime Minister is bringing in is going to definitely help the next generation. I just hope that as parents, we are able to keep our kids away from that computer because uh, too much of it is kind of, you know, what worries me. Anyways, I got distracted. But the fact of life is that when I was in school, I used to really get bullied. I was never 
I was very good at dramatics and I, and I think that is what has made me the person I am so animated all the time. So I was very good at dramatics and I had, I had great fondness of being on stage. And I somehow started gaining my confidence from that space, which took me a lot of time. But in college, something crazy happened, which is I was done with getting sidetracked and I was kind of wanting to just be there in my own space. And I did some crazy weird things to get attention. Uh, like back then, colored my hair red, which was not a color that people would do. I remember my mom didn't speak to me for a month. Uh, because I just told her that I'm taking part in a hair show. So like you had fashion shows, uh, you had a lot of these hair shows that would take place at World Trade, um, World Trade, um, I don't know, what is it called? World Trade Building, whatever, which is in South Bombay. Um, so you, you you'd get paid to kind of do some hair coloring and some product would get promoted. And so it was a very funny audition that I went to when I was in my 11th standard. So I went into a space where there were all these aspiring models. I still remember um, we had uh, Terence who was, who would back then dance himself. So Terence Lewis was like the filler between the fashion shows and he and this beautiful uh, female dancer with him, sorry, but I don't remember her name. And, and they had actually uh, done the filler acts. And so I went in for this audition and you were going to get actually assigned uh, to one of the international hairstylists. So I, I got assigned to, uh, so, so the hairstylists were allowed to pick up the model they wanted. And she picked me and she was Holly from Holland and she had bright red hair. So I was like super kicked at looking at her. And that was when I realized that I was actually pretty wild in my head, but I just pretended and lived a life of being this, you know, very nice little girl. So Holly told me, are you in to color your hair red? And I was like, yeah, I don't mind. That one reaction cost me <laughs> a lot because back then I was so naive that I didn't know that the color doesn't leave your hair. I assumed it's a hair wash and I'm done. So I color my hair red and I'm super happy. But the catch is I assumed she'll do it all red, but she only colored a certain patch, which was right on top. So when it drops, it's all red. But when I tie up, it's black and red. So I had no idea what I got into. And when I went back home, <laughs> Deepak, you're talking about fearless? No, I was not fearless back then. And nor was I fierce, uh, but I walked in with a lot of finesse and I was firm when my mom told me she won't speak to me for a month. It's like, okay, I'll wait, but I am happy with what I have done. And um, I think that kind of stuck around with me for a long time, but that got me a lot of attention in college. And suddenly that's kind of built my confidence and made me a different person. Um, so yeah, those are like funny days, but yeah. Uh, Nitin's writing, um, quality event one is ready to give and now the industry is going more towards money than creative commitment tech idea. Waiting for the right client. Yeah, Nitin, I know, but this is a tough time. I don't think we could be judging ourselves, um, even judging a client uh, for, for the choices they're making currently. But I really believe if we stick to our gut, even in these kind of times, we may not be able to get the kind of revenues we had always wanted. But at the same time, uh, eventually they will come around it and they will understand even a virtual event can be done in X minus minus budget and an X plus plus and there is a difference in the output. Uh, so yeah, I think it's a wait and watch game uh, right now. And uh, Shebas is laughing. Are you laughing on my red hair? <laughs> oh, I have so many more stories when I have done some weird things and, and um, taken my time to, to kind of uh, uh, get accepted. Uh, but I did. I remember there was this MTV show and I had a huge crush on Cyrus Brocha. Now, who has a crush on him? Like, you can be fond of him, but you can't, like, have a crush on him. But I did. And um, I, I don't know why and what show did I go to, but I eventually got this weird MTV tattoo done on my cheek. So everyone was doing it on their hand because oh, that's the obvious place for college girls to do it. But I, I just had realized that... Um, I was just not wanting to be one of many. So I got it done on my cheek. And I went into college and I was not allowed uh, after the first lecture because the news kind of spread around. So 
we had a teacher who came to my class I remember and she just kind of pointed at me and she took me out and uh, that was it then everyone started calling me the tattoo girl so it was really weird stuff um but i kind of hung around with that space and uh of course as i grew older i did become mature but the craziness has stayed in me uh so yeah that's <laughs> that's what it is deepak is saying freedom to do what you love um i think deepak this generation is surely blessed to get that freedom uh, most of us are fortunate enough to get that space that we are able to do what we want in fact i do get upset where um i think f for fear is also important the way i see girls shooting their own hideous videos and putting it up on reels on insta it shocks me i really believe that you should fear if nothing fear what your parents are going through fear uh, your own conscience fear the fact that people are assuming 10000 things about you and why do you want that attention is not getting you anywhere so sometimes i think f for fear is also important and uh, not misusing that f for freedom because uh, you are actually doing a lot worse for other girls and women who probably are glamorous they are bold on instagram but they are not desperate so being bold and being desperate are two different things and for you to be able to understand that and for the sake of other women just stop doing what you're doing um you're just giving pleasure and you don't know what else you're doing to the men and strangers around you so just relax you are not achieving anything in that you're just ruining it for girls who are bold who are strong who are confident and they get equated to your wrong doing so hang in there girls have patience don't be desperate and don't misuse that freedom uh just not right Ashish has written F for focus. Wow, yeah. I mean, why did everyone get so scandalized? I remember when I put up my story, F word. I had quite a few people writing on my Insta DM, F word, F word, and I was like, yeah, like you know, I have also specified my three F. So uh, don't judge me, but yeah, a lot of them did. But hell, it was fun. Ashish, I do agree with you, man. F for focus is very interesting, and. Um, uh i i think uh, it's it's tricky but not that challenging to keep your focus right i think people around me definitely inspire me uh and i do also end up inspiring a lot of people to keep their focus right um having your focus right guys is not that challenging it is a very easy thing to do very frankly first of all you need to detach from social media uh and yet you need to smartly use it so for me uh, it can become a big distraction if i have to over indulge in using social media so if you genuinely want to have your focus right focus on your craft focus on your deeds focus on your clients or your colleagues wow this almost rhymed deeds colleagues but don't focus on social media and getting attention so understanding and identifying what you should be focusing on definitely is of prime importance and there on it's an unending journey because you just can't stick to it uh, there are lots of aspects that can distract you uh, but you've got to keep it right and you've got to stay firm right <laughs> and have it there sapna is here hi sapna hope you're doing good uh, smidesh is sending me a thumbs up thanks thanks for that um uh, nix is writing you can edit for ganpati bappa video what should i edit please tell me that um mm, you have your youtube channel uh yes we do have for the wedding school i am still wondering nix what we are getting at but you could please clarify that and and i'd be very very happy so yeah f for focus that's an interesting one guys any more fs that are coming to your mind Uh, you can actually share it over here and i'd love to discuss about it um kushal is saying hi uh purvi part sakshi waving back at all of you guys uh happy to have you with us smitesh is here hi smitesh hope you're doing good sorry we could not do our monthly meet for our ex students uh the tws tribe we've been catching up in the last few months regularly once in a month uh this time because i think it was um i think yeah it was ganpati yeah 
So Ganesh Chaturthi, that's why we had to skip it, but we are going to meet you in September for sure uh, online. Huh, Smitesh? We are not going to meet you. You're most welcome to come to office <laughs> when and whenever we will actually open that. So yeah, in Mumbai, guys, it's getting so, so, so tricky. Uh, Shreya is here. Hi, Shreya. Uh, waving back at you and Sapna. <laughs> um, like WhatsApp status. Okay. Next, you will write a line in one line, so I don't know. I'm very difficult in trying to understand. I'm still there. Wow, Naughty Events has written fundamental. F for fundamental. Absolutely. That's a very interesting one. I wouldn't have thought of that, actually. Um, so, yeah, I think that's an interesting take. So, fundamentals, um, I think, are really going to be what you consider as your pace. Um, the, the, the instinct that keeps you going, your virtues and values, that for me falls into uh, the space of your fundamentals. Um, again, I do believe it's the virtues of our parents, the values of our teachers that truly develop our fundamentals. And we tend to carry it forward. We add up more to it in the form of our bosses or mentors, uh, people whom we actually worship because there are lots of them whom we may not be directly in touch with. But Facebook, Instagram gives us that option and opportunity to follow people and therefore follow and start getting influenced by their fundamentals. So, so I, think, I think it's a good one, uh, F for fundamental. And I truly believe that uh, making that right choice is important. And uh, you can fundamentally not change much but I think as far as uh, what our parents have taught us goes, I think that is eventually what becomes the base and thereon you build it and you eventually can become that person, that mentor, that guide for uh, the rest of people eventually, guys. Don't be in a rush to get there. It takes time. You cannot overnight uh, be an influencer and you don't become an influencer. Yes, you can become one here. Yes, you get thousands and millions of views, but trust me, that is not the influence I'm talking about. I'm talking about the one who can actually guide you. Uh, somebody who can subconsciously and consciously train you to become the kind of personality and person that is really going to help you, uh, you know, bring in more success and more peace of mind and, and more patience in you so that whatever you do you're doing it for the longer gain and not for instant success so your fundamentals have to be in place for wanting to have a long lasting career shreya is writing f for futuristic yeah wow yes i think uh thanks to social media again and thanks to every time every day something new getting invented we cannot just live in the present. And I, and I keep sharing this with my team as well. Don't stick to whatever I'm teaching you because I am learning something new every day. And I really believe that what I knew yesterday is not going to be enough for me to battle today and to prepare myself for the future. So being futuristic is going to truly be a compelling uh, space and mindset and mind frame that we will need to get into. In fact, I'm very happy with the fact that, uh, you know, through our uh, films and photography course, we're actually, the second thing that we are teaching aspect that we highlight is discover the futuristic approach because you cannot just be knowing something that's good enough for today. You got to be there ahead of your time, have the vision, have the outlook, basically be futuristic. So Shreya, thanks for that one. That's a cool one. I'm liking this session, yeah, guys. Um, okay, finally, Nix has written a complete line to me. Uh, Shivam, firstly, hi to you. Uh, I want to learn editing, then what I can do. Uh, so Nix, I think you must have probably joined us. I'm hoping in the masterclass, which Anand Rati conducted uh, with uh, the wedding school and Reels and Frames uh, for the new course that we've come up with in wedding filmmaking and photography. In today's class and in the last uh, session, which we had, I think last Friday, the counseling session, he had specifically mentioned that we are going to have sessions that are focused on editing because you can't just be shooting a great film 
and then not be having the nuances and the sensibilities to get the edit right. So next, that is something very interesting to learn. And you'll not believe it, in spite of being a planner, I do take a lot of interest uh, in, in the edit part uh, of, of the films that come up. I don't interfere because I like to partner with the right kind of uh, teams uh, who, who do wedding photography and films. But I do have a certain vision for my client. I do dream and visualize that if I have given this kind of theme, I want it to look like this. I share my thoughts and views. I don't impose. Um, sometimes if I have to, I do it. But largely I do this so that we are not just dependent on the editor's skills. We are actually filming certain things, right? But it is no point of all of us doing some amazing shots and I know of teams that complain about it, that we have taken such a killer shot, but it's not come in the final edit. So that working in sync uh, as a team, being able to, in the shortest span of time, being able to understand the trick of picking those right shots, weaving it together, making sense of the madness, that is very, very important, Nix, and we will be teaching that to you. You will be learning better skills of editing, better softwares that you can use, and also uh, the mindset that you need to get into while shooting something, understanding how it's going to culminate when it's on the edit table. Okay, the wedding anchor is here. Hi. Um, what coffee do you drink? Always so energetic and creative. Yeah, man, I know. I don't know. Uh, yeah, but you're right. These days, I'm so much on tea and coffee. I have um, totally kept the LITs out of my life and I really, really miss that. So, um, you know, maybe on one of the virtual events that we are soon going to be doing, we will be talking about that, Jeanette. But um, I am I'm genuinely super high <laughs> always and uh, Heman keeps joking that you're up to something. Uh, these days, I don't want to even talk about it because I think even if you talk about it, it's alleged that you have consumed it. So, <laughs> so I'm just high on life. I'm high, super high on kicked about doing different things, new things for my client, even when they're not expecting it. And uh, I don't know how, but I just, I just have the energy in me. Uh, I, I guess I need to thank my team and my partner for uh, allowing me to fly and, and be this crazy and have the energy. Uh, to do what I do. So yeah, uh, I think uh, uh, it's it's real fun if, if you are able to channelize the energy. Uh, kudos, we genuinely love your energy. More power to you. Thank you. Uh, and, and I think, I, I really believe uh, that it stems from the fact that I was an anchor. I really have to give credit to that profession because uh, you're responsible for creating a positive vibe among 300, 500, 5,000 people at a time. So you're so used to that uh, kind of a life. So uh, again, going back. So where does this stem from? It stems literally from the fact that I, I started off uh, in school with theater and that kind of helped me understand that I need to reach out. And if you have to reach out, you have to throw your voice. And that's when I realized you need to have strong lungs, more energy. Uh, I've taught my students, in fact, at the wedding school, so many techniques of uh, strengthening their lungs and improving their immune system because that eventually leads to the energy that you possess. Students, I hope you're following what I taught you all, okay? I'd be upset if you're not. Okay, so, uh, so, so my energy level actually, uh, my base is because of, of the theater uh, that I was doing. And I used to do some crazy things back, I remember, at home. Uh, there was this uh, weird show, uh, Hum Patch, that used to come, and there was this character played by Rakhi Tandon or Vijayan, uh, I don't remember her name. Uh, she used to go to the door and somebody would knock and she would start singing a song randomly and create her own songs and sing some songs. And I used to do that kind of madness sometimes at home, only to entertain people because I really believe that I am born to entertain people. So, so I've always been energetic, but Thankfully, uh, God's grace, my energy level has not dropped in spite of being around for more than 20 years. Deepak, F for faith. I mean, you're now sitting in the dictionary and you're finding out you don't need to sit with a dictionary. Sorry, you're in the world of Google. You're surely going to be doing that to be able to come up with all these Fs in your life. Um, 
but uh, yeah i think uh, uh, faith is really important and having faith first in yourself and then faith in people around you sometimes that is important which i believe today we truly lack um because we probably think we know it all so have faith in your seniors have faith in people who've been around for a longer time uh they're not idiots even if they're not active on social media or uh, doesn't mean that uh, they're not good enough so so guys have faith <laughs> in yourself too shivam hi shivam <laughs> shivam why are you laughing are you laughing on that hum part yeah man so some strange things i don't know why i'm opening my little pandora and telling you all about the silly things that i've done but it's fun uh i think we all must have done all of it but um uh kudos to everyone thank you for your contribution of uh, futuristic f for faith futuristic uh freedom focus uh so many more efforts finance that i have learned today but stick on to it hang on to it it's your finesse your uh you being firm from your gut uh you being fierce as a person and personality in today's times where there are opportunities that everyone is exposed to where your population itself can become your biggest competition um so you got to have these traits in you uh to be a winner in life and in your profession whether you're a photographer or a planner or you're pursuing something else it's in creative space or or it's at a back end space or it's just right out there as an artist you just got to have these traits so stick on hang in there for that f word and and stick to your gut and do it right but do it with some sense and strategy to it so sheel is your hi sheel how to get weddings in these times <laughs> uh sheel wadwa um one of uh, i would say uh, the most recognized faces of our industry who d- has done some phenomenal work uh you know in the corporate space in the my space and of course now in the wedding space as well uh, so she'll i am the last one to be telling you how to get weddings but i i was just talking in fact um uh you know to again a very dear friend of mine yesterday where we were just discussing that actually this is not a great time and there is no need for us to push out and go all out in trying to get weddings um because whatever weddings are even being considered right now are working on certain kind of budgets that sushil you for sure like me would not be very very keen on so it's probably a great idea to just hang in there take it a little easy um stay in touch with your existing clients and probably use um social media and instagram to try and and work your page around i think it's a great time to invest in doing that so that when the time is right and a client happens to go on your page they are never looking at your last post um not advising you sushil but this is just my a uh, little bit that they are always looking at your page and uh, assuming that that's the personality um and and that's the the way you are and your company is so guys it's a great time i think to uh invest in kind of uh, working and updating your uh, uh social media presence and i think it's going to be worth the wait sushil because you're so used to international work uh that i know for you to do something locally is <laughs> going to be a very uneasy space to be in but you'll have to just hang in there and you're going to kind of be there uh what's your advice to our industry colleagues on alternate career options so sheel i'll be very honest with you and i uh, you know i'm uh, you've seen me from my anchoring days uh i am what i am so i'll be um very happy to share the fact with you that uh it's it's nice to frankly genuinely look at alternate careers uh which is i'm not trying to say uh you know to move away from wedding planning but also look at something parallelly i think uh, especially with companies which had a great focus on on mice and were largely dependent on that it is a great time to probably diversify explore the digital world um explore something which is totally off and away from the event space so um i have a family member of mine who's touchwood in a business 
uh, of of uh, of uh, chemicals and his work has doubled up and tripled up uh, because he produces some uh, chemicals which are required for making sanitizers and many other things so so he is in a very very comfortable space and i was talking to him about how events at large may be affected maybe weddings may not be as affected eventually um and he was talking to me and i shared with him a couple of things that we are got into now uh and he explained to me that it's also important for you to consider a parallel business which is not connected to events um because it's going to be interesting for you to try out something which is not related to what you have been used to doing it's also going to help you in the future so that you're not dependent on a certain industry to function because we have seen the government is not able to help all of us right um uh, the tourism uh industry contributes um ten uh, percent to the GDP, but there is uh, nothing that's concretely been done in that space. So uh, it's time to recognize the fact that we are still a developing nation, and 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 our um, uh, authorities and and governments will not probably be able to do everything for everyone. So you can help yourself and try and explore things which are not directly connected to events. and that could now be your plan b to take you from whatever age you are i know you're young sushil to a time when you don't have to run around and you don't need to travel so much and you can be operating and and doing things with uh, less chaos in your life um so yeah government had said atmanirbhar so mai to bhai tab se samajh gayi modi ki bhasha he is a gujarati i am a gujarati sushil i had to understand <laughs> what he was referring to and um i i think he probably had no choice as well yeah somewhere i think our population uh, needs to be atmanirbhar it's it's not uh, possible for them to do what uh, we expect them to do but yeah as long as he suddenly announces end of the financial year no taxes for anyone uh, i'm i'm happy uh, we can also tell the government right be atmanirbhar why do you need my tax to run your country right uh, our country so uh hopefully there will be that campaign as well sushil and i know you and me will be in front running for that that the government should become atmanirbhar um uh shivam is writing is good to share because laugh is also good to have hai na shivam otherwise i tend to get very serious and intense in my meets god this is going on and on i'm going to quickly wind up i've got too many comments on insta i'm just going to read it ha ha no way it's you who always pushes people from their comfort zone to to brainstorming hai na deepak i think that's how you found all those f words so now i'm using my f word and i'm going to vanish from here uh abhi is writing weddings is all about feelings how does an event planner mold himself in such situations with the families um see i have always considered abhi that an event planner is very different from a wedding planner and um if you're talking about genuinely the event planner molding himself uh just this morning i was telling uh, one of my colleagues uh that you have not thought of the bride as your sister otherwise you would have worked harder so uh literally for me that's what uh, weddings is i i assume firstly that that wedding is in my family uh that i'm related to them and that is how i get into a mold where i don't allow a uh, budget or time or interference restrict what i end up uh, achieving for them so you have to mold yourself only with this simple for formula which is assume it's a wedding in your family and there on work on it uh it doesn't mean do it for free uh but do it from your heart and you will end up doing 10 more things than what they expect for you um next is saying i'll promote your page yeah thanks next i appreciate this uh and i'd look forward to your support uh like i said i i believe uh it's more important and worthy my time to uh, be an influencer even for a smaller audience but people who will use what i speak to benefit themselves as human beings and as professionals uh i'm not very kicked about uh, thousands uh, and millions and lakhs liking it i'm i'm pretty okay here because we know how much of that is bought and how much is genuine so us pe paisa main na barbaad karu i'm a good jew yaar <laughs> um Shivam agrees with me. Not even says well said. F for fun, Ashish. Yar, I to mean fun. To care, chori do. I don't allow my team also to have fun nowadays. Uh, too much work, so too much pressure on, on my team. And uh, F for fun is something we do once in two weeks only. 
when we all just catch up without having any agenda and we just chill together uh, you need to even have fun and enjoy your work absolutely ashish i think uh, until instagram became this big genuinely we enjoyed doing weddings and i can say this on behalf of all the wedding planners decorators and people who are associated with weddings because the client trusted us the client allowed us to think and do what we could actually come up with which is unique stuff so you enjoy the process it's fun but ever since the client has got exposed to say pinterest and instagram they want to ape what they see uh they have stopped having as much fun in their own weddings they are constantly wanting to stay in touch with the planner i have i have seen uh family members who are not in that moment in a conversation they are nodding but they are constantly looking out because they suddenly want to have a discussion with me so uh everyone needs to have fun i wish they would then we would have also had fun because in the initial years of planning weddings it used to be a lot of fun uh it used to be a joy ride totally uh now we do have fun but uh, we have to rely on on other sources for fun um f for fantastic <laughs> uh thanks shivam be fantastic absolutely and i'm going to quickly wind this up because it's going to go on and on and i don't want to cut short so um thanks for not saying f for facebook <laughs> because uh, that would have killed me uh but thank you guys you all have been fantastic hi sumit um and and thank you very very much thanks ajil for joining in and uh, let's stay atmanirbhar and let's have some fun this weekend guys stay fantastic stay focused uh develop finesse be firm and uh, have a great 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 weekend f for friday i hope i made friday a uh, super fun interactive and amazing and uh, looking forward to meeting you next friday and for those of you who missed uh today's uh, master class uh, thanks to us i'm really really sorry about it and i'm looking forward to welcoming you on tuesday you will stay in touch fun and focus pile absolutely tomorrow you will have to do a lot of that we're going to be teaching you about virtual events in the class tomorrow um yeah thank god it's friday i know ashish so you pack off and you have your fun on friday while i get back to work yes it's a working friday for me uh but but no comes uh we're working on something really exciting at swaha so i'm going to be talking about that uh next friday i'm going to wait to do a, a great job with my team and uh looking forward and thank you guys the f word hang in there to that f word and find your favorite f word and stick to it and see where it takes you in life thank you so much for joining me have a great great weekend ahead